Hello everyone, in this video, we will show you how to configure a VPN channel between Vigor 2860 and Vigor 3900 using SSL. Here we have the network topology that will be used for the VPN configuration. We will start by configuring Vigor 2860. Use your internet browser to log into the router. Check if you are connected to the internet. As you can see, one one is connected. Now go to VPN and Remote Access, and then LAN to LAN Configuration menu. Select the first available index to start the configuration. Enter a profile name. Select Enable this profile and then dial in since we want this router to be a server. Under Dial In Settings, select SSL and enter your chosen SSL username and password. Under TCP IP Network Settings, enter the remote network IP which is the local IP address of the Vigor 3900. and then click OK to save your settings. The next step is to configure Vigor 3900. Log in to the router and use your default username and password. Check if you are connected to the internet. As you can see, one two is connected. Now go to VPN and Remote Access, select VPN Profiles. In the VPN Profile page, select SSL Dial Out tab and then click Add. Enter a profile name and select Enable. Select Enable Always On. Select the interface that the VPN tunnel is going to use. Enter the server IP, this is your one IP of your Vigor 2860. Enter the same SSL username and password that you use in your Vigor 2860. Enter local IP and subnet mask, and then click Add to enter your remote IP and subnet mask. Click Apply to save your settings. To test that the VPN connection is running, go to VPN and Remote Access and then go to Connection Management. Then select SSL and the profile that we created, then click Connect. As you can see, we are now connected. Thank you for watching the video. For more information, you can visit our website at www.greatech.com.au or you can also send us an email to sales at